Hi everybody, Jodie here, Decorous Vintage Designs and welcome back. This week is an interesting one. Um, so in this week's furniture makeover, I'm actually going to be making over a piece that I have previously painted. It has a bit of a smoky Chesterfield style kind of look to it. We're going to give it a fresh makeover and we're going to sell it on. So what I'm thinking today is doing something totally different with it make it look really really fresh maybe a bit of a moroccan style but let's just have a play and see what happens i have put a little bit of big mama's butter over the top of these hinges because they're really nice and i don't think i want to paint them um so the big mama's butter is an oil based wax so it should prevent the paint from drying and settling on top of it so i should just be able to scrape the paint straight off I decided my first colour today was going to be Caviar, which is a true black by Dixie Belle. And I painted this whole piece in black. It looked kind of gothic, but it's fine. What it will give me is a really nice dark canvas to build colours on top of. All right, so what I have here is some of the Dixie Bells uh, Daisy. It's this lovely yellow color. And I'm going to paint a um, layer of this over the top of the black. And I'm actually going to use my really old, terrible looking scarlet brush. And the reason for this, I might actually just, I'm going to chip, I'm going to cut those edges off though. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to definitely cut those off. <laughs> But because it's kind of just a little bit old and battered, I'm kind of just going to do really wafty movements with it, making sure that I leave some of the uh, black peeking through. And because it is old and battered, it's not going to give me really amazing coverage, which is what I want right now. It's going to help me make it look a little bit more rustic. As I paint the yellow on, I am not using any water. I'm also not loading my brush up too much. It's almost a dry brushing technique. Um, so I'm painting it in different directions, but I'm making sure as I paint that I leave texture from the brush bristles so that you can actually see where some of the brush strokes and I'm also leaving some of the black poking through. This will then create some lovely rustic texture. So we've got this lovely yellow base going on. I say it's lovely, it's looking very rustic. Um, you can see that there's a lot of black still peeking through. What I'm gonna do next is, I have my usual lovely container. <laughs> right, so I've got some mint gelette and I'm gonna pour some of this out. Um, it's a lovely minty color. I'm just gonna pour a fair amount out because it's quite a big sideboard into my container. I also have some gulf which is a bit of a blue turquoise i'm going to just put a splash of this to start with into my mint gelette so maybe like three quarters mint gelette one quarter the gulf i just want to see if i can get the minty color looking maybe just a tiny bit more turquoise okay and this is the color i've ended up with and i quite like that that is actually the color that i wanted it's still mint gelette but we've just got a tiny tiny tinge of the turquoisey blue in there Just use a little bit of a light hand to start with with this and then build it up gradually if you're not so confident. Um, don't plow your brush with tons and tons of paint. Just build it up slowly and yeah, and then you will start to see that this will start looking really rustic and a little bit chippy as well just by letting some of the under colours shine through. Thank you. 
Okay, so next up is kudzu, which is this really lovely uh, leafy green kind of colour. And I've just got a chip brush again, and I'm just going to do the exact same thing that I did before. What I have in this bottle is a 50-50 solution of water with um, antebellum blue or roughly something like that um, and I'm just going to spritz this all over the piece now and just yeah yeah and just get some more layers going on on this make sure that when you mix water with paint in a bottle like this that it's just an old bottle or a really cheap one because they do knacker your bottles eventually Once I had sprayed on my antebellum blue and water mixture, I just went and grabbed my water mister which contained just plain old water and I misted it down and watered it down even further and allowed some of that antebellum blue to drip. Once this had all dried, I grabbed Palmetto, which is a really dark green by Dixie Belle, and with another chip brush, I just put a tiny, tiny little bit on my brush and started dry brushing around the edges of the drawers and edges of the doors. And this is just to create a little bit of a vignette, it's just to create a little bit of depth and a little bit of drama. So all you have to do is put a little bit on your brush, you can tap it on, you can dry brush it on, whatever you want, um, and then just kind of just smooth it out a little bit just to make it look much softer. Here I have a little bit of buttercream and a natural bristled brush with a round tip and I'm just tapping this in random areas and this is just going to create a little bit of a patina just to make this look even more worn and rustic. I then went and grabbed my gemstone mousse in amber which is a bit of a copper colour and grabbed a artist brush and just went around those edges of those doors. I wanted to use this colour because it has a little bit of red in it and I thought okay cool that's going to create a little bit of drama and contrast nicely with the green so I just wanted to emphasise some of these details on this sideboard. I then went and grabbed my easy peasy spray wax which is what it says on the tin you basically just spray spray it on and then I got some Dixie Dirt in charcoal and another artist brush and then just rubbed that all around those edges over that copper as well and that was just to make the copper look a little bit smoky. When using Dixie Dirt it's a good idea to combine it with a wax and the easy peasy spray wax is probably one of the easiest because then they will combine together and the um, yeah the dirt will go on more as a, as a wax basically. I then went and grabbed some clear wax and some black wax from the Best Dang Wax range and using my Le Petite brushes which are my favourite brushes to use I then applied the clear wax first. 
The reason why I applied the clear wax first was because not only will this seal the piece but it will also soften some of the black wax when I put that over the top. So I don't want the black wax to be super stark and grungy, I just want it to kind of soften up those edges and create more drama and more of a vignette. So I decided to apply the clear wax before going in there with the black wax. I focus the black wax around those edges as I say just to create more of a vignette and more drama again what I want you to remember is as well is that if you don't like the black wax or you think you've used a little bit too much because it's water-based you can either go in there with a damp rag and remove it or you can just go in there with more clear wax and soften it up even more it's entirely up to you and totally down to personal preference And then finally what I did, and this was a very much a last minute thing, um, I decided to grab some sandpaper and actually start sanding some of these layers back. Um, it just, the mood kind of caught me last minute and because I've done this now it will mean that I'll have to go in and wax again. This really should have been done before the waxing. But I decided that I actually wanted some more of the yellow to peek through and I wanted some of more of the um, original red to peek through as well. And this gave me more of a rustic farmhouse look and I just felt like it was the right thing to do. So yeah, you don't necessarily have to do this if you don't want to. The, um, the dry brushing layers, you know, would work absolutely absolutely fine but I don't know the mood took me so I thought why not <laughs> And here's the finished look. Um, I really love this makeover. I do love a bit of farmhouse, especially with a bit of colour. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And always, guys, happy painting and take care. Bye bye. One day we down.